Hey everybody, it's Watchman again, uh, also known as Fidget, and uh, I'm here to show you this this monstrosity, which is none other than a four input AND gate, and it's it's got a few extra features though that that make it very interesting. Now what I've designed this to do is it decodes a binary coded decimal four digit string. So this is a a binary number one. This is the the representation of the number one, one top, and then all the others are low. So what this does is it will then decode that and give you an output so that any other combination on these four lines will result in a low output. Thus it ands them all together. Now the twist is these inverters over here. Now what I do is I invert all the signals except for this one which is already high. I invert that one twice because it's further than 15 and I have to. But uh, basically it's it comes straight in so because it's inverted twice it's essentially not inverted. Um, and that gives me a high signal, a 1, on every input. And that gives you a low on every torch thus the output is low. Now if I go here and say I change this, I add this one, well that inverted signal will now drop to low and it will turn this torch on. And as soon as any one of these torches turns on, your output turns on, torch turns off. It's no good. So anyway, if you change it to, uh, say you wanted to watch for a number two instead of a number one, all you've got to do is, uh, we'll put a torch here, and we can erase this torch. Uh, it's got the sign on it, so I'm, I'm going to leave it. So it's actually watching for a number three right now, because that's technically number three in binary. So there, I've restored the zeros. And uh, this is this is great for driving a display like that one. You can use it in conjunction with uh, with this display driver from my last video. Um, and it's it's a very good companion. You can just make a whole bunch of them that are all the same and uh, after that you can set just place a torch and uh, let it take care of do what it's going to do and then you can just go through and put in torches wherever you have to to ensure that the proper gate is activated oh no that's not what I want I'm going to remove this one put that there so, for example, this is correct for a 1, but then say I had another one stacked next to it. What I'd do is I'd remove this torch and place this torch, and then suddenly we've got a 2 on our input, and I'd just remove whatever torches this happens to, that happens to conflict, and, and place whatever torches I need to to get a 0 coming off this again. And then next time it comes around, it's already programmed, and there's nothing to, it's automatic. I have to that I'll change that later. Anyway, that's all there is to it, really. It's pretty much all I have. Um, if you have more questions, comments, anything you see that's incorrect, or anything that I said that is just horribly wrong, feel free to correct me. Obviously, leave a comment, and while you're there, go ahead and favorite, because uh, obviously that's what you'll want to do if you find something wrong with my videos. Um, anyway, have fun with it. Hopefully, this will get you. Uh, this little tutorial here is enough to get you building your own displays and display drivers. Uh, once you get those down, man, you can have all kinds of fun. You can start doing things in decimal, and uh, it really makes your projects look professional. really makes them look good if you can decode your input and output to decimal. makes it so much easier to see and use. Um, anyway, have fun with it, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.